What the fuck's flipping out here? Uh, if you're wondering what that whole intro thing was, uh, basically what it is is this. Somebody who has a contract with Harley who is a advertiser just reached out to me and they go, hey, would you like to do a promo for Harley? And they'll send you some cool swag. And I said, yeah, why not? So that's the promo. You'll see it on my Instagram reels, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Just some uh, fancy camera work, if you'd say whatever. Uh, today I am up at Burt's Harley Davidson. We all know this place. So the majority of my vertigo has pretty much gone away. So I'm like, hey, you know, like I want to grab, you know, something from Burt's and have some more fun and start like, you know, getting ideas for videos and all this other stuff. Then I walk in and I see something that they're like, if you want to take it, take it. And then I just couldn't say no. We'll get to that in a second. The problem is, is that when I came up here to meet Gunner, he shows up on that thing. And uh, I think a lot of you are familiar with that motorcycle or you think you are because you're not. No, 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 no. So the 2015 twin cam street glide that they let me borrow to go to Sturgis. As soon as I got back, they scrapped it. This is a brand new like 2019 Milwaukee 8, blah, 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 blah. Like, I think he brought it just to make fun of me. Not the point. Let's go see what we're gonna have some fun on this week. So of all the things they have at a Harley Davidson dealership that I want to borrow of all the goddamn things. How often am I going to get a chance to live with a Kawasaki H2 Ninja for a couple of days? Not that often. I'm going to take it and I'm going to kill myself probably. So thank God the vertigo is over. Every time I get to a new motorcycle, I know instantly that the first thing I have to mentally do is try to figure out where I'm gonna mount cameras, because this first ride is gonna be very fun. Dear Bird, why are you letting me borrow a 300 horsepower motorcycle? Thank you very much. All right, tags are on the motorcycle. Uh, I really miss having a Bird's Harley Davidson tag so I can just take the cross down everywhere. Let's First impressions, I guess, you know? Let's see what this is like. I was also hoping that that wasn't out here so I could do this conversation. God damn it. Uh, I'm gonna pull it further. All right, so the three craziest motorcycles I've ever ridden was Josh's uh, Ducati Multistrada, uh, the, the Livewire, and then that uh, Triumph Daytona. Those were crazy motorcycles. The, the, the Daytona was just ridiculous. This is supposed to outdo everything, apparently. And then you do this. And then it does that. All right, enough messing around. Let's get on this thing. What I'm about to do is the epitome of what I call stupid. And what I mean by stupid is, is that I am using a GoPro I've never used and just set up today with a microphone on my camera that I haven't used in probably about eight months. Let's see what happens. Let's see if this thing's recording audio. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin the mating voyage of what is possibly, or could very possibly well be, my last time ever riding a motorcycle because this is not typically what I does. You okay, baby? I'm pretty. Um, music is always important. Always important. Hello. Hello, Santa. Thanks. We haven't hung out in a while, Santa. All right. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. man, I was excited about the Daytona, but Jesus, this is supposed to be a monster let's go ahead and uh we'll put some of the stats right there okay stand up tip your toes on the ground all right <laughs> if you're not giggling like a little girl you're not doing this right guys <sighs> oh Yes. <laughs> this is about to be something. Easy on the throttle, boy. Easy on the throttle. Keep it. That's neutral. 
I do that all the time, but you are asking for f trouble. Whoa, you're a naughty girl. Whoa, you're an asshole. Oh, monster magnet, power tripping. That's exactly what I need right now. Oh. Okay, that was a terrible pull because on the high gear already at low speeds. Yet again, I forget to check my mirrors before I leave. I've done everything else and mounted. I figured out where to mount my cameras and how to mount my cameras. Make sure that my freaking microphone's working on my helmet. Let's not check the mirrors on the dangerous motorcycle. Hello, trouble, meet stupid. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get somewhere where we can talk dirty in a minute. I'm barely out of the parking lot. And this traffic is just making the anticipation just so much harder. Like, have you ever gone, have you ever slept with a goth girl and like have to wait her to uncenter corset and undo her boots, which don't get me wrong, leave the boots on, but it's just like, oh, just go, why do I want to go on? Frustration, come on. Because right after this, Right after all this, there's a bridge shh, that we can do naughty things on. And we are going to do things that the Bible would not agree with. Which it's, it's terrible to say because I'm not that kind of person. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm, it's, oh, never mind. I'm, kind of, I'm not that kind of person. Let me select notes. Well, I'll deal with all this later, but. No, no. What's this button do? Hmm. Can't seem to figure out how to take it out of sport mode. Not that I want to, just want to know how. Man, I had a whole idea for what this video was going to be about, and this was not it. But this is what it's going to be now. As soon as this traffic's over. That's cruise control set, whatever, okay. <laughs> I got a wave on this thing. I mean, I guess the only good thing about traffic is I get to fidget stuff like stupid mirror. Okay. I'll do that at home. Just... Mm, come on, green light. We're almost there. We are almost there. All right. We are fast approaching the time to see what exactly it is this thing kind of does without pooping my pants. You can do that quickly. I'm trying to play nice here. I'm gonna be a good boy, I swear. I'm gonna be a good boy, I swear. Mm -hmm. Tis not time and place. Not quite just yet. I think I'm going the right speed limit because I'm accompanying traffic. Then again, everybody probably speeding too. Stupid traffic. Oh, and now the sun comes out. Alright, so initial first impressions of Murder Machine. Uh, it's not as spooky as I would expect it to be. More so, more so for the pure fact that that's what you're expecting out of Murder Machine. You expect it to be fast. You're expecting it to be super stupid acceleration. Um, for somebody who doesn't typically ride, somebody who doesn't typically ride sport bikes. The biggest difference is always like the gear ratios and like power bands and things like that and like where it pulls and you know 
Like, I typically ride motorcycles by feel and sound. So when it sounds like it wants to change gears, I change gears. Whereas these motorcycles like being in a more torturous RPMs than Harleys do. So. So comparing this to the Daytona, two major things. One, seating position is way more comfortable. Now, the Daytona is not meant to be ridden around town, typically. So if that's not something that you're used to, it will cramp your back up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Old man back. Um, but that's the type of motorcycle that's meant to be ridden. So as you pick up speed and you start to tuck in and like get into your little pocket area, you start to get a lot more comfortable. It's just like city stop and go traffic where it's absolutely terrible, absolutely awful. Tippy toe in and like you're like freaking ostriched on the motorcycle. Mm, this is this is way closer to the, the the seating position on my Triumph, which is super cool. So, you know, it's Bonneville, but deadly. I mean, you can kill yourself on anything. <laughs> Not the point. Um, oh yeah, point number two, and the difference between this and the Triumph Daytona Moto 2. This, the throttle and the way the motor engine works and like the way it pulls. I'll say it's slightly more violent than the Triumph Daytona. Uh, the Daytona was extremely smooth, extraordinarily smooth that like, as you pulled on the throttle, like you did, like it didn't jerk, it didn't scream. It like ramped up at a very steady pace. It wasn't violent. It felt like an absolutely tuned performance machine where this is, this sounds and feels like, oh, I want to say that it sounds and feels like it wants to kill you, but it's more of the fact that it sounds and feels like it's trying to make you kill yourself. I'm going to start to hear. It's really difficult to not keep going. This is my next seven days of life. So, if you've been looking for a freaking Kawasaki Ninja H2, what the hell ever, it's a 2020. Bert's Harley Davidson got one. Give him a ring -a ding Where's seventh gear? At 3,000 RPM, this motorcycle sounds like it's falling asleep. At 3,000 RPM, a Harley Davidson sounds like you're beating it like a redheaded stepchild. And speaking of redheaded stepchild, I have recently had to remind somebody about a movie called The Radio Flyer, where the little kid builds a freaking airplane out of a radio flyer red wagon because he was literally a red-headed stepchild who his stepdad used to be. Go look it up. It's a great movie. Frodo Baggins is in it. <laughs> that's where I'm, that, I'm pretty sure it's the first time I saw Elijah Wood on TV. Like, I think that was like one of his earliest roles. Oh, also, go if you haven't, The Good Son with Elijah Wood and freaking Macaulay Culkin, oh, my God, that movie is messed up. Watch it. That concludes this week's Movie Reviews by Flip. Now for some terrible puns. If Sammy Hagar was here, he'd be really mad because he can't go 55. Come on, I got a need, a need for speed. Wham! Which ironically was also where the ninja became super famous. You began there and here we are. Stop on the interstate, what the shit? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess this is where I will conclude the slowest review of the fastest motorcycle. So if I end the video here, y'all know how this works. Don't forget to like this video, do not like to. Come on, you've done this before, you're a professional. Not really. Now I don't remember how it goes. So folks, this is where I'm gonna leave y'all. Y'all know how this works. Don't forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, catch you on the flip side. Wham!